Welcome to Into Not By. Here's why people get trapped by emotional abusers and why it's not their fault. First, attachment. The emotional abuser gives you attention. They make you feel flattered, loved, and important. You start to believe that they genuinely care about you. They might even think that they do by themselves since they internally justify all their doings. Normally, this kind of attachment will lead to healthy bonding and a closer relationship. With the emotional abuser, it leads to some levels of addiction and dependency on the victim's part, which is never their fault. Emotional abuser's behavior exploits normal emotional bonding to another human being. Second, guilt. In some point in the relationship, you notice that it's all about their needs. The abuser might do something that hurts your feelings and bringing it up leads them to reason why it's actually your fault and why you have to take responsibility for it. They make up convincing excuses why it's not their job to do it, why it's absolutely unreasonable for you to ask for it, and so on. In other words, they guilt trip you. The emotional abuser believes they have no responsibility for their behavior or feelings. If they feel uncomfortable by something in the relationship, they will manipulate you to take the blame instead of trying to work things out. Guilt tripping makes the victim submit and erodes their sense of emotional and physical boundaries since they are made to believe it's their job to cater to their abuser's needs. Third, cognitive dissonance. After the idolization phase, the emotional abuser will move on to a devaluing phase. Catering to their needs is not enough anymore, and you feel you can't do anything right no matter what you do. This phase starts when the abuser feels you are getting emotionally too close and or you are trying to hold them accountable for something they have done. Emotional abusers are afraid of responsibility and in some cases intimacy, so they will try to push you away. They use manipulation, gaslighting, and guilt tripping to force you into silence and to take all the responsibility for the relationship. They give you the silent treatment, which is justified by some clever excuses. Emotional abusers believe they are entitled to absolute emotional comfort, even when it means abusing other people, because you remember how well they used to treat you. Your mind has a hard time accepting they are not the person you thought they were. In fact, you might start to make excuses for them in your head because they have manipulated you to think nothing is their fault. It is extremely difficult to get away from the abuser's emotional trap because they take advantage of the victim's emotional bonding to them and give false hope that the relationship could be fixed. You are misled into thinking that if you just learn not to be so needy and selfish, the abuser will award you with the loving behavior they demonstrated in the beginning. And fourth, the aftermath. The emotional abuser has no intention to take responsibility for what their abusive behavior has caused to you because they have normalized and justified it in their head. Not all of the abusers are so sure of themselves, but need a lot of internal convincing and validation from others so that they can feel good about themselves, which is their goal, not having to deal with responsibility or emotional labor. After all, emotional abusers are not Disney villains, but people who are selfish enough that they lack motivation to learn how to not hurt people. There are two ways that their trap can break. The victim quits all contact with the abuser or the abuser leaves the victim. The second one occurs if the emotional abuser feels they have to deal with too much because of the victim. The abuser might feel threatened by the victim if the victim is making the abuser feel bad about themselves by calling out their abusive behavior. The emotional abuser thinks that they are actually the victim in the relationship because the real victim is making them feel bad and scared. The abuser is generally afraid that they would have to deal with negative emotions that taking responsibility would require. In the end, the emotional abuser ends the relationship with some dramatic note in which they project all their feelings into the victim. You are the abuser. You have harmed them. You have threatened them. This is their way of securing their own emotional well-being as they refuse to acknowledge the reality. Just remember that it is not your fault 
and you are not responsible for their horrible behavior. While mutually harmful relationships can exist, abusive relationships are based on a power imbalance, and therefore there is no such thing as mutually abusive. You are nothing like your abuser, and that's how people get trapped by emotional abusers. I hope that helped. Thank you for watching. Hopefully I'll see you later.